F. So I'll give two examples. So one is that uh, people eat too much meat, right? And if they were to cut down on their consumption of meat, then they would, uh, it would actually really help the planet. Uh, but people are not willing to give up meat. Yeah, you know, some people will be willing to, but other people, they may be willing to, but they sort of, they have a weakness of will. They say, wow, this, this steak is just too juicy. I can't do it. I, I'm one of those, by the way. So, By the way, you've got no idea where this is going. You know, but so here's the thought, right? So it turns out that we know a lot about, so there, we have these intolerance to, uh, so I, for example, I have milk intolerance. Um, uh, and there are some people are intolerant to crayfish. So possibly we can use hu human engineering to make it the case that we're intolerant to certain kinds of meat, to certain kinds of bovine, uh, bovine proteins. And there's actually analogs of this in life. There's this thing called the long star tick, where if it bites you, you will become allergic to meat. So they're going to genetically alter people so they're allergic to meat. That's their strategy now for getting people to quit uh, eating meat. It just proves that really intelligent people in one area can also have no common sense whatsoever.